we welcome to Idudu TV, where we give you good news only. So yes, um, the news broke out yesterday, okay, when Moses Blaze shared his proposal video to his um, best friend and the love of his life. So yeah, just uh, a quick update about the wife. The name of the wife is Mary Weisborn and she is from Ghana, guys, sorry, Nigeria sisters, it is well. And yes, she is a, in a early 20s and she is a barista in london and yes um she is a child of god okay she's born again and as you can see she's modest and uh, yeah a very classy young woman and also she is known for um supporting moses please all this while okay and the fact that they met on the streets of instagram is another one and yes um like they've been together just that we don't know and i think uh, it's a good way to go so um congratulations to uh minister moses bliss again and the wife to be and yes guys um i will just attach few clips to this video uh just to uh buttress my point and also um to entertain you guys and to let you know that yes a wedding is coming keep watching Thank you for coming into my life at a very important moment. You've redefined my entire existence with your love. Thank you for embodying Proverbs 31 so well. Thank you for being so special, so dear to me. Thank you for touching my life, my heart in the most special way. I just wanted to show you this. I wanted you to see this. So. <laughs> this is so sweet. What did you give me? <laughs> yeah, babe. Oh, I'd love to. Say it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Babe, will you marry me? <laughs> it would be quite on love Yes. Oh. <laughs> This way. Let's stay there. Yeah, baby, I love you so much. Just, just to let you know how much you mean to me. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to serve God with you. I want to do this thing called life with you till eternity, till the rapture of the church. <laughs> Nothing. Life does not follow such presumptions. Life doesn't guarantee us much. But it is what we do with the time and the chance that life does guarantee us which will determine who we become and where we end up.
congratulations to Thank you for listening. Nevertheless, our past experiences, no matter how ugly or beautiful they may seem to us, they can still serve a purpose. The past should force us to take decisions for a better future by helping to inform the actions we take in the present. Even if our experiences differ, I hope we can all find the same encouragement in the words I will share next. As befittingly as we are in this beautiful cathedral today, I take my inspiration from the wisest man I know. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 11, to paraphrase it says, I saw that under the sun, the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, but time and chance happens to them all. As graduates looking into our future, we may have a presumption about life also that a person's destination is predetermined by the characteristics, qualities they possess, or the people they know. We may feel worried about our prospects, that we may not have what it takes, or that we lack the connections in the right places to take us ultimately to where our dreams and our goals are. But we all grew up with people who had the qualities to make it pro in football, become a great politician, businessman, had a wealth of connections, and the list goes on. But life has not taken them to where we presumed they would be. Life does not follow such presumptions. Life doesn't guarantee us much. But it is what we do with the time and the chance that life does guarantee us, which will determine who we become and where we end up. Therefore, do not look down on yourself, do not be discouraged, and do not fear. Instead, when chance comes your way, take decisions as a wise man would, and be bold and courageous as a strong man should. Fellow graduates, take that chance, however and whenever it presents itself, no matter how small, for the little steps of today bring us closer to our desired destination in the end.